My name is Ray J. Singer, songwriter, actor, and platinum selling artist. I've had a lot of success and made a lot of money. I love the ladies, and the ladies love me. But after years of being a Hollywood player, maybe it's time to get serious and find that girl who can make me change my ways. Maybe. Flossie told Ray that I was a stripper. Bitch, I'm a bartender who happens to get on the pole when there's nothing going on at my bar. There's 10 girls left. I still haven't had a date with Ray and some of these other girls. They're actually getting time with him and I'm getting screwed right now. I need to change this whole situation. It's funny that she that she made it sound like that's all that I do. You are a stripper to what? Nothing, so what? I know. Basically, everyone has picked me this day to be the target because I'm who they feel threatened by, but I'm not going anywhere until Ray wants me to go somewhere, and that's not gonna happen anytime soon. She should be fucking embarrassed. She's like the hoe of this house now. She thinks she won already, and we're just like chilling in her house, relaxing and shit. <laughs> she thinks she won. I think it's important right now to warn Ray about Flossie because he needs to know that she talks a lot of shit and she's not a trustworthy person. And I'm just thinking, we're totally gonna get to you, Flossie. I'm gonna get to you. That's, she thinks she won. That's all that it is. She'll remind herself eventually. She'll come to reality. Oh yeah. When Ray sees how she is. Ladies, come here. Good morning, baby girl. I still haven't won a single date. So, you know, right now, it's do or die. Like, no joke. I need to spend some time with him. All right, so I had a big ass challenge plan today, but I canceled it. I'm gonna forget about all that. Look, I'm taking all y'all out today. Woo! We're just gonna all go out on dates so we can all get some time to spend with each other. Y'all with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just want to get to know the girls, man. I just want to talk to them and vibe with them. So over the next two days, I want to take everybody out on a date. Some solo, some in a group. But every girl is going to get quality time with me. Please believe me. Today, I want to take out Extra, Platinum, Flossy, Caliente. Yay. I'm so happy because I never win the challenge. So this is my first opportunity. So for me, it's a very good day. Let's have some fun under the sun, get y'all bathing suits. Let's just keep this positive energy going. See y'all in an hour. I'm on a date with Platinum, Flossie, and Caliente. And I'm like, why is my date for four people? This freaking sucks. Like, OMG. Ladies, let's go. It's time to get things popping. I love the beach. I was so happy because my day is on the beach. This is my day. Let's I go. Come here. Here, X marks the spot. So I take Caliente, Flossy, Extra, and Platinum to the beach with me. I need the girls to help me take out the food, set up the tent with me. I mean, we really got to work as one family. <laughs> you need more water. Really? Yeah, you go so awesome. Super soaker. I mean, we at the beach. It's popping. I feel good, man. Life's good. Matter of fact, life's great. Let me, let me holler at Flossie real quick right here. Whoa, hold on, wait, 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 time out. Are you serious? Flossie, she ends up getting my one-on-one -on -one time. I don't like this bitch. I don't like her. Ah, so how you feeling? Good. You feel good? Yeah. I see today you a little chill. Hey, she said. Last night, some of the girls in the house were saying slick shit, and I was just what like. What was they saying? Just calling me fake. And so it was just like, kind of just let things cool out, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean. That was just last night, but nothing changes me and you. Yeah, I know. I don't want it to. Yeah, it won't. You 
know? Because you're why I'm here, so... I want you to still be young Flossie. Yeah. Look, I can't deny that I got a connection with Flossie. It's pretty obvious. But right now, I feel like she has love for me, and she's here for the right reasons. How do you feel? I feel good, man. But I don't want you to stop, you know, going hard and looking no. out for me. Mm -mm. This is the date I wanted. Alone time with Ray for us to talk. And as long as it keeps going how it is now, I'm really confident in what me and him are building. I don't want to waste our time talking about them. Yeah, nah, you know, I just wanted to know how you feel. I want you to feel good and be yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold back, okay? Yeah. Don't hold back at all. See, this is a nice day today. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful right. day. We should play football. Okay. Just guard her and try to get her not to catch it. She's like, gonna hike the yeah, ball. Yeah, you guys try to catch it. I never play football in all my life. I don't understand the game. So he's playing me, you need to do this, this. Only I understand he say you need to tackle her. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm going. <laughs> Oh my God, I feel so mad. She's gonna get in way between me and Ray. She's not. We decided to play football, and it was kind of intense. Caliente ended up tackling Bossy to the floor. Less, less, less aggressive. <laughs> you know? Sorry. What the heck? Like, this is supposed to be a friendly game, and she, like, tackles me to the ground. Like, damn. You need protection, I can't be your body. <laughs> She was so mad with me, and I was so happy, so I love football now. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's go. It was a good day, man. It was fun under the sun. Fun, fun. Under the sun. Watch your hands. Under the sun. Listen, I had a great time with the girls at the beach. But you know what? Now I feel like I want to flip it up, do something a little classy, a little sexy, a little more grown, at one of my favorite spots in Hollywood. So I want to take someone that's equally classy. I'm taking Miss Berry. Look, I want to take you out tonight. Cool, just me and you? Yeah. Cool. All right, so go get dressed with something nice. I'm going to put on something nice, too. Yay! All right. Oh, babe. See you in a minute. You know what? I'm taking Miss Barry to dinner because I feel like this is the perfect time for me to see what's up with her. When Ray tells me that we're going out on a date, I'm really, really excited about it. My divorce was finalized the day before I came into the house, so I haven't been out on a date in a long time. I'm very excited to have Ray all to myself. Ready? How do I look? You look good. Fucking smoking. All right, we'll be back. Y'all all right? Yeah. See y'all in a minute. Oh, okay, now I'm jealous. Fuck! <laughs> Why does Ray want to go out with Miss Barry alone? Like, how embarrassing is that? She looks like your mother. Barry's hot, she's sexy, she's sophisticated. I want to know more about this girl right here. Hey, you never even told me your age. I'm 32. I'm four years older than me. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't no, not. that's not. You, you got, I just, your energy is so real and just so genuine. Something you've been doing that's still been standing out. What you doing? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just being me. Yeah, that's what it is. 
but are you ready for somebody like me? Because I can, I think I can handle somebody like you. I don't care. So what you is know. somebody like me? Like you? Like a grown ass woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's in her bed hiding from all of us. I know for a fact that she's told Ray that I'm a stripper. Like, I'm sick of her little perfect, classy, oh my god, I'm so great, like, attitude. And I'm thinking, I just want to show her what's up. She's so stupid. What a dumbass bitch. So they sit down, and they're saying stuff to me, and I'm just ignoring them. Like, you guys are just jealous of me, and you're just jealous of me and Ray's connection. It's so stupid. Like, I'm just over it. Where'd she run to? I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to talk to that stupid bitch. She makes me want to throw up. Don't just tell her. I just want to throw up. You want some? Absolutely not. <laughs> really? What you mean? That should look you like a fried tarantula. <laughs> That should look like a fried spider. Uh -huh. I like the I like the calamari Here's with the a circle. circle. <laughs> <laughs> so what you so what what you think of me? What, what kind of what kind of dude you do you think I am? I think that you have a really genuine heart. I think you're a really genuine person. Ray and I have a connection, and it's something that's real. It's something that's special. I want to know more because you're interesting. Like you know, there's something I'm about mysterious. you. You a little mysterious. Well, I have kids and I am divorced. It was finalized right before I got here. It was my choice to leave. Yo, Miss Barry told me she just got her divorce finalized right before coming here. So I'm a little worried. I know what it is that I'm looking for. I have to be true to myself and to keep myself happy. So, so how are you feeling? I feel good. I like you. I, I, but you you got me a little scared, though. Just cause, just cause I'm thinking, damn, she just got a divorce right before she got here. I'm just like, man, is she gonna really just be like, hold on, I gotta go back to the person that I really love. No, because that's not the person that I'm in love with. I'm actually glad that he's asking me those questions, only because if he didn't ask me, that would tell me that he didn't care one way or the other. I don't wanna be a rebound. I don't wanna be a rebound either. I don't wanna be number two or number three. Like, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> being a rebound. I thought the date with Miss Barry was important because I wanted to know about her. I felt like it went great. Jaguar, she's hiding from us. Flossie is? Yeah. If Flossie wants to walk around here talking smack about everybody, then she's going to have to deal with all of us at the same time. Fake bitch! Fake bitch! She's really hiding. She is hiding. There it We're nice. calling you. I can't even look at it because it makes me gag. Why are you like hiding from us? I'm not. I'm just staying away. Like I'm just in here. So I figure if she's gonna be running away from us all day. Let's just go to her. How does it feel to like have everybody hate you? Are you really comfortable sleeping at night? I mean, I'm fine sleeping at night because you're not gonna do anything to me. I actually almost want to laugh right now because they're really trying to gang up on me and it's really taking all of them to get under my skin, but they don't intimidate me. Well, if all you guys hate me so much, just don't talk to me. I won't talk to you guys. It's fine. It's oh, I mean, and by the way, I find it funny how you go and tell Ray on your date with him that I'm a stripper. She's a stripper. She's a what? Stripper. She's a stripper? I I'm said you would have had fun at the date. You said you, you do said? strip. Oh, I think that we're all trying to get Flossie to just snap right now and do something crazy. So Ray has a good excuse to send her. Why are you doing so much shit? That's you not shit. You do. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Heartbreaker just starts going in at Flossie, and I'm like, whoa, dude. Are you serious? Like, poor thing. I've never wanted to just punch somebody so bad. I'm so furious right now. It's taking all my restraint to just not just go crazy and just beat the shit out of all of them. Heartbreaker throws a big, <laughs> the big drink on her face uh, with Flossie. 
the the star the fight the star. Oh really? Fuck you! Did this bitch really just throw a drink back in my face? <laughs> oh hell no. Okay. Fake asshole. You're a fake asshole. How do you like that? You want more? You want more? What's up? Flossy, I will floss my teeth with your skinny ass. so pissed off right now like how dare you throw a drink on me because I'm standing up for myself please oh god Once I get back to the house with Miss Barry, we walk in the door and all the girls in the house are waiting for me in the front. What happened? Everything regarding Flossie. Flossie? What's up? She's just talking too much shit and she's really like getting to people and she's saying things she has no business saying. If she's like that to all of us, she's gonna be like that with she's you. She's gonna be like that with you. Right, this is not a joke. Hold on. I was so mad. Where's Flossie at? I know. She's yeah. locked in her room. Honestly, right. And she wants somebody, to be, to be somebody that talks, somebody that talks that much shit, it must be just because they need shit like in their mouth at all times, and I threw a drink on her. She, she threw a drink, drink on me. She threw a drink on me. And, and then she threw, threw a drink, drink at everybody. Y'all been throwing drinks? Drinks have been thrown on people. Listen, this is not the WWE. Listen, it's all of y'all. I hear y'all. Let me go holler at her. I don't want none of this, you know, crazy beat nobody up. She's fake. She's too fake. Be careful. Flossie. Where are you lying? We're about to go home. Let's just throw a drink on me first. She threw a drink at me. I stood up. I couldn't Hold even on. see. On, I had baby. so much alcohol baby, in my baby, eyes. Calm down. So me and Ray go in his room and talk, and I feel so much better talking to him because, like, finally someone's sane, you know? Like, I'm mad because, like, first of all, they're saying things about me that aren't true. Like, okay, I wasn't talking shit about anyone. I said facts about people. And, like, I just don't understand. And all day they've been talking about me all day long. Like, and I've been ignoring it because I'm not here for him. Like, I'm for them, I'm here for you, you know? Absolutely. But and you, like, and listen, and you're supposed to be. I know. They're just jealous. Like, so let them be jealous. They supposed to be jealous. That means you're doing something right. Everybody's upset with Flossie because Flossie's pretty much calling everybody out on what it really is. They feel like Flossie's telling me information that she doesn't need to tell me. And I disagree. Listen, we're gonna go down there and squash it. Okay? But I don't think it's like squashable. It's, it's squashable because I'm saying it's squashable. It's so sweet that Ray wants to, you know, step in and like be my knight in shining armor. Finally, someone who's on my side. All right. Who want to squash the shit? All right. Everybody got some concerns. Everybody upset. There was drinks thrown. You know what I'm saying? Some people might have a different way of getting to where they gotta go or being, you know, with me. You know what I'm saying, heartbreaker. I see you got different twists and turns with you to where you would get this whole motherfucker started. I refuse to see that bitch with you, dog. That's a fake ass bitch. That's my point, and that's why I'm so heated, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I understand people arguing and people having disagreements, but all this fighting and shit, uh-uh. Hold on, heartbreaker. We gonna squash this all the way. Heartbreaker. Is it squash? I'ma do whatever you say. So is it squash? You don't need to say one more to me. Is it squash? Yeah, it's squash, baby. Ray asked me seven times and I finally say, okay. Is it really squashed? Mm, I don't think so. Did you see Foss? She's so mad. She well she deserves to be what mad. The fuck you. Yeah. Should I expose her today? Nah. You know, like I think he'll nah. probably see it on his own. Or if he asks you, what was that about? Yeah, I if he asks me, I'll tell him. But if not, don't even ruin I'm not your even time. Go there. Yeah. You know she's gonna want that like sympathy from him and oh, shit. So you know, like give on me her own a date, bucket so I can throw up. Yeah, I know. Sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. Ladies. What's up? Come here. Got something to say.
How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? Y'all a little tired? Last night was a big night. You know, after talking to all y'all, I felt like we all made a breakthrough. And I'm really happy about that. Let's just keep it popping. It's another beautiful day. Exotica, Jaguar, Heartbreaker. I'm gonna take y'all out first. All right, we're gonna go out in like an hour. So y'all go get ready, Luscious, Paradis. We gonna, I got something planned for us tonight. So y'all just chill out today, okay? I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. All right? All right. All right. All right. This is awesome. It's exactly what I needed because after last night, I feel like I really need to spend some time with Ray and I just want him to know how I feel. Let's do it. All right, so yesterday I took out five of the 10 girls, right? Now I take out Jaguar, Heartbreaker, and Exotica. But I gotta admit, dating 10 women ain't easy. Someone's gotta do it. Yeah, I don't bowl. You know, I only bowled once and I was horrible at it, but I have to do whatever it takes. Oh, oh no, oh, hell oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's play for some. What y'all want to play for? Let's play for some alone time. For some alone time? You know what? I'm going to let the girls bowl it out. And whoever wins can get that alone time with me. I mean, come on, I had to have one shot. All right, so we starting fresh. Let's get it cracking. Now we have to compete. So I'm like, what? I don't know, even know how to carry those balls, so how am I going to do it? Dang. Oh, no. Uh-oh, this is getting good. Exotica is the weirdest bowler I've ever seen. I don't know if she's getting ready to throw the ball or just shove it up her skirt. It's really weird to watch. You got this. Oh, no. I need y'all to really come with it, because this is it. I'm cool with that. I'm That's cool right. with that. Me right. right. and Jaguar right now are neck and neck. One of us is going to get this alone time, and I'm just thinking it's not going to be that bitch. Here we go. This is it. Whatever I score, I know it's going to be better than Exotica. And Heartbreaker's bowling like a three-year-old. I got this. What is she going to do? Okay. Oh. Seven pins. That's all I need right now. And I get this alone time with Ray. This is the most important ball I've ever seen. going down to the wire. Ray says whoever wins this game of bowling gets alone time, and I'm thinking, I'm gonna win. There's no way these girls are gonna take this physicality time from me. Uh oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Heartbreaker wins 77. I won. I'm feeling like a million bucks right now. I just threw this ball and got exactly what I needed, and I beat Jaguar by one point. I won fair and square. Jaguar, you lost by one point. One point. I won fair and square. You know what? I'm happy Heartbreaker won. Let's get out of here. Let's go back too. here for a minute. Come on. I really need to sit down and talk to her about all this drama that's going on in the house. So tell me what's up with you. I know that like certain people were telling me, oh, I'm a stripper or whatever, but I'm a bartender. I do get on the pole once in a while when I'm bored at work, like if there's nothing going on. You get on the pole. Like, I'll go <laughs> dance a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You like, actually I do. try to entertain myself at work. So Heartbreaker admits that she does strip. Flossie wasn't lying. 
Flossie didn't deserve to get a champagne shower. You want some real shit. Whether I work at a strip club, at a circus, or anything, I am a good girl. Because you know that's a big deal to me, you know? It is. And it just bothers me when I see girls like Flossie. She says messed up shit about people, and I don't feel like she's a trustworthy person, and she's a little girl. She only one year younger than you. First heartbreakers throwing drinks on people. Then the talk is shit about girls in the house. She need to stop putting all that energy into them other girls and start putting all that energy into our connection. I'm not just trying to be your girl. I'm trying to be your friend. I'm trying to be everything to you. And I'm trying to have your back at all times. All right. I'm a little worried right now of how Ray's taking everything in. But at the end of the day, he might appreciate my honesty. All right, let's get out of here, girls. Yeah. All right, I got two girls left, Luscious and Paradis. And then after that, this whole dating extravaganza thing will come to an end. You know, where Paradis at? In 30 minutes, throw this on. We don't got to go nowhere. I got some, like, spa treatment set up in the back. Manicures, pedicures, massages. Just us three, me, you, and Luscious. So I'm taking Luscious and Paradis to the backyard for a little Manny and Petty. This is my first date with Paradis, and I feel like this is the perfect time for Paradis and I to connect. Bobby, I'm so fucking ready. I have won zero dates with Ray, so that means this is it. There's so much pressure on me right now to show him who I am. Luscious and Paradis. So what y'all be doing every day, like on an everyday? I don't know, I used to model a lot. You know, I've been in several magazines, but I've been more homebody lately. I just stay home all day, and I find more comfort in that. What you be doing all the time? Like? I go to school, and then, I don't know, I just kind of do homework. I'm confident as it gets, but when it comes to Ray, I get, I get a little nervous. I don't know, it's kind of going nowhere. I have animals. How many animals you got? A lot of cats and like two dogs. How many cats you got? A good like eight. <laughs> eight cats? Whoa. I don't really think Perry Dees and Ray have much in common. So I don't think talking about her eight cats is really helping the situation out. So I'm kind of just sitting there and letting her sink. So where you keep your eight cats? Like at the house, they all just be running around? You want to be like a veterinarian or something? Mm, no? No. She pretty much has nothing to say. Like, what's up? Like, this isn't making me feel like we getting any closer. What up, Luscious? Yeah. Let's go over to the cabana. Now I feel like it's time for me to talk to Luscious. You know what? There's something about Luscious that stands out. Our chemistry is there. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Like, I feel really comfortable with you. You seem like that, too. That's good. But I don't want you to to, to, to push back. I'll be honest, I did for a little but bit. But I need you to cut that out. I want, I'm gonna. We need to move forward and see what it do. I want to see what it do, <laughs> definitely. Then let's do That's what it That's why do. I'm here. <laughs> like, honestly, like, when I first came here, like, I felt the connection between us so strong. That's and, like, I have been insecure the last couple of days, but, like I said, I don't want to feel like that anymore. By the end of the date with Ray, I'm feeling pretty confident. I know we have an understanding. I know we have a connection. So I'm really happy that we got that extra time before eliminations. We still good? We're more than good. Just something's on my mind. I gotta go holler at her real quick. Okay. Cause I'm just, I'm thinking about some shit. Yo, I just don't feel right until I talk to Paradis. I gotta say, man, we didn't hit it off the way I thought we was. I feel like we need to talk. What I'm doing wrong? What am I doing? What can I do to make you really just you know, come out your shell? You need to like, being with Ray, I just feel kind of awkward. Like maybe he is having stronger connections with other girls and we kind of are so far away from getting to that point already. 
and can't nobody not feel you. So now it's like, damn, she just ain't feeling me. Or she ain't really trying to make no super connection with me. Okay, honestly, I'm just like adjusting to like everything, this whole situation, like, you know what I mean? Like just everything going on, but no, like, I am feeling you. Yeah. I really I mean, am. But are you feeling me to the fullest to where you gonna really just like boss up and take control? I really wanted us to vibe and bond a little more together. And I felt like that was lacking. See y'all in a minute. All right. She dropped the ball. I seriously might be going home tonight and I'm just scared as hell. I'm really sad. I can just feel that I'm going home. If I had my way, Heartbreaker would go home tonight just because I think a lot of the drama would stop if she wasn't here. It's time for eliminations, and he, again, doesn't know me, and I don't think our date is that exciting. So, yeah, that makes me nervous. What's up, ladies? Hi. These last couple of days have been crazy. But you know what? I felt like I wanted to get to know everybody a little bit better so I could really make the right decision. And I felt like I know what I need to do. That being said, Miss Barry, come down, please. What's up, girl? How you doing? Okay. I felt like we went out on a good date, and he was honest about everything I was asking you, and I appreciate that. Are you here for me? You know I am. I'm just happy to know that I'm going to be here for another day to spend some time with him. Flossie, come down here. It's been a lot of tension in the house with all the other girls, but you've been keeping it 100, and I want you to keep going. Are you here for me? Absolutely. Are you here? After all the fighting and wasting drinks on Flossie and her weird head, she still gets a glass, and I am terrified of what Ray is thinking right now. Caliente, come down. What's up, baby girl? Hi. You're a real tough chick. Undeniably one of the most fun people I've ever met. But I need more, OK? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so Don't be. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Happy to have you. Exotica, come down here. You've been really passionate. Are you here for the love of Ray J? Of course. I feel good because I finally had a date with Ray and he got to get to know me a little bit more. So these girls, they better watch out. Platinum, come down. I just want to know that we can, you know, click. Yeah. Can we click it up? Yeah. Luscious, come down here. So you still here for the love of Ray J? Lonely heart. There you go. We're getting down to the last glass, and I still don't hear my name. I'm thinking Ray just completely forgot that I was even here. Four girls, three glasses left. It's got to be done, you know? Jaguar, come down here. What's up, baby girl? I'm going to let you do your thing, but time is ticking. I know. Blessings. Extra, come down here. You see, I'm trying to vibe with you, and I feel like you're trying to do the same. If you're really here, then I'll give you this glass. I am. Here. Thank you. Two girls. One glass left. It's down to me and Heartbreaker, and I'm so nervous. I could be going home, but I'm thinking the only thing that could save me is that Heartbreaker did throw a drink in Flossie's face first. I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm so scared. I'm like just playing everything back in my head right now, and it's real hard, you know? All right. Let's go. Two girls, one glass left. It's down to me and Paradise, and one of us is going home. Ray needs to understand that Paradise is not the right girl for him. All she has is boobs. 
I have so much more to offer. Please don't send me home. I want to stay here really, really badly because the more time we have with each other, the more like we both could realize that we match, that we should be together. Heartbreaker, I really want to get that bitch out of here. She's just not race type and she's a trashy stripper. So, bye. Paradise, like we had our one-on-one -on -one time tonight. And I told you, I'm very, very interested in you and what you got. So I felt like this was both of our chance to really make that connection. But I felt like even today, you kind of pushed back a little more. I'm still kind of confused about it. Like, does she really want to be here? Or is it just too much competition? Racism hot, but we just weren't clicking. So maybe I shouldn't have told him about my cat. Heartbreaker. I see you really been going hard in the house, really trying to let me know that you're here to look out for me, and I appreciate that. But I don't live life where people, you know, do bodily harm to anybody. That's just not how I roll. Tell me how you feel. I feel like since day one, I've let you know, like, what I want and why I'm here. I'm here for you, and I'm trying to have your back. And if I'm wrong for that, then I don't know what else to say. Heartbreaker, come down here. You know this is a tough decision for me to make. I don't want you to fight nobody. I can't give you this glass unless I really know that you're really here for me. That's the only reason why I'm here, and I told you that the first day. Okay. I'm Take your glass. I chose Heartbreaker over Paradise because I felt like Heartbreaker was really trying to make a connection with me, much more than Paradise was. And I think she knows that she was trying a little too hard when she went up to Flossie. So I felt like I made the right decision. Paradise, come here. Okay. You know you smoking hot. You're just not taking control like I really want you to. And I feel like our chemistry is slowly slipping away. And that's why I couldn't give you a glass tonight. But I feel like you're a great person, and I like you, and I respect you, and I had a great time with you. Perry D never really took it to the next level emotionally, so I had to let her go. I wish you the best. You got some good girls here. I appreciate so you. Good luck. Thank you, baby. I am pissed off. Of course, I'm sad. I'm not going to see Ray, but are you kidding me? I got eliminated before Ugly Ass Extra and Stupid Dumb Bitch Flossy. So Ray's gonna miss out on everything I have to offer, my looks, my personality, just everything, I'm the shit. From now on, I'm gonna keep fighting for Ray and stop worrying about all these other bitches. I just know that I really wanna be here and that I really wanna see where things go with him. Come down, ladies, let's make a toast. 